Hello everybody, my name is Nathan Gian and welcome to Among the Ripples. Now this is a really cool game, I tried it out a little bit, because recording equipment, obviously, and it's it's a fun little game, and you control the ecosystem of a watercolor pond, a watercolor background, and they add some little animations over it. It's really, really cool, and it's really beautiful, it's relaxing as well, so let's get into this a little bit. Let's play. So see... You can raise the oxygen levels. We have a pretty high oxygen level right now, and we can raise that by dragging our mouse up or down, and then the little bubbles disappear. I'm not exactly sure what this is. I believe it might be algae, but if we raise the oxygen again, come on. I wish this was a little more intuitive, and I'm trying to find out what that yellow thing is because it keeps creeping up, and um, there we go. So if we do this, we can summon an otter, some crawfish, some other fish, and some other fish. That, so, yeah, see that stuff that keeps creeping up. So if we do make our little fishies, will they grow big and strong? Because I want to make a super fish. I want to make a super, super fish. Because that would be really cool. And these, Oh, so that is the algae, and it eats the algae. Okay, so we need sunlight and oxygen for this. And I'm not sure what that is. They said there were things that were contaminating the pond. Um, I can't make any more of those fishes. This is the highest it's actually ever gotten, so let's try. The crayfish don't die out for a while. Um, I don't remember what you are. You are these fish. I haven't made a lot of you in a while, so I wonder if these fish eat the smaller fish. And then they grow bigger, maybe? Okay. So that shrinks, and then I can make some more of you. Oh, they are growing bigger! Maybe I should have waited so they could... Oh, yeah. So these guys are the greenies are gonna go bigger. Uh, these guys are gonna go big and strong, though. So let's let's make some super fish. Okay. Let's make some super fish. Oh, look at him. I kind of want to let these guys die out first. Oh, look. He's getting contaminated, I think. Because I want to make that these little smally guys. I want to make them big and strong first. Look. The background changes as well. It's so beautiful and it's so calming. I mean, look at that. Oh, look, these guys are growing big and strong too. But the contamination in the pond's growing as well. I don't know what that is or how to clean it up. But this is like trial and error, you know, whatever. So no, I want to sm start small with the super fishies. I'll make the smaller ones super fishies first. So these guys have to get eaten somehow or die out. So maybe they get contaminated or something? No, I didn't tell you to make more. I didn't tell you to make more. You can't make more without my permission. So, do they get contaminated? Because that keeps growing. Oh, I didn't tell you to make more little fishies either. But we'll make some more little ones. And we'll make some of these as well. We'll create super fishes. This, way, this, this is how we'll create super fishes. So these guys eat the algae, and then they grow big and strong for the smaller green fishies to grow big and stronger too. So, let, oh, all my big green ones died. No, so we can create more little fishies. So I think it's the contamination in the pond that's doing it. So, here we go, create some more. Uh-oh. So I gotta figure a way out to, to clear the pond. I actually want to see what happens if I don't do that. So we're going to create some more of these. Eat them, algae. Yeah, you're not going as big as strong as I would like. Oh, and I can't create more of you. Why are you smaller than them? Yay! Okay. I can create bigger fishies too, but I don't know if those, if those will get contaminated. Like, these big fishies, and then I can create more small ones. And some more of these, and some more big fishies. No, I can't create more big fishies. But I can create little algaes. Oh, but those are going to eat all the algae. So what if I lower the oxygen? Will that... Uh-oh. Things are starting to get contaminated. They're going slower. I don't think that's good. Okay. So what if we create more you? And some more little fishies. Little fishies? No? Okay, not yet. We can create more greenies. Um, but just look, it'll eventually, look, it's like turning into spring. 
Why do I have so much dead stuff? And we could create crawfish too, but those, those take forever to die. And we could get an otter too. I wonder if Mr. Otter, Mr. Otter, will you die if you go down into the contaminated part? We can create little itty bitty fishies. We can create some big fishies. Oh look, it's winter! Oh look how pretty that is. Look at it. Isn't it wonderful? Now we're just gonna we're just gonna let this sit for a while and let our ecosystem play out. Oh look how perfect it is. Minus the contamination of maybe one fifth of the of the pond, but this is our home. This is what we Oh, Mr. Otter, I think I contaminated you. I'm sorry, Mr. Otter, I loved you like a brother. Oh no. Maybe some little fishies will help the the ecosystem. Cause they'll eat the algae, right? And then yeah, go in, and then they'll shrink it all up. Yum 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 yum. And then everything will be okay. Look, they're all contaminated. How do I fix that? They're all dead at the bottom of the thing. How do I? I feel so. How do I fix that? Because, oh, now you're eating those fishy guys. This guy's okay, though. He's at a top. He's like, hey, guys. Hey. But, Mr. Otter, are you going to die? How do I make sure the contamination doesn't... Oh, no. Oh, we, we are dropping bodies. Oh, no. But it's not that bad. It's not like it's consumed all of our pond, right? Right? Yeah. See, we can make more fishies. Come to fishies. Yeah, what? Oh, it was two of them. I was like, that was weird. Oh, another one. <gasps> Look, it's summer again. And then we can we can make some more of these. And some more greenies. I don't think I can summon another otter, though. Oh, no more otters. We can summon these. Yeah. Looky, looky. Yeah. Mr. Otter over there, he's so cute. Oh, he turned a different color. I do not know if that is a good thing. Oh, he's getting out? Is he getting out? Oh, he's getting out. Oh, Mr. Otter, can I summon you again? I want to summon you, Mr. Otter. Oh, is it turning into winter? What if I take down the oxygen? I want to remove the oxygen. Yeah. All right, there we go. So then we can make some more small fishies, some more greens. Yeah. And then we can have some more of these guys. Yeah, that's right. Be free! Be free and lovely. Be free and lovely like a bee in the sea who only has chi to give thee. You see? Oh, just look at it. It's so beautiful. I really do like the uh, watercolor background. It's pretty. I do. Oh, look at them. They're just all like, eh, let's go. I don't think the contamination has risen any at all. So the algae. So does this automatically make things? Because I, I, I don't want it to automatically make things. I want to see if Mr. Otter will come along and he will take care of the fishies that are left. Oh, look at all that algae. Look at all that algae. Oh, everything is growing, and it's pretty. I don't want to contaminate Mr. Otter again. Yeah, that would be bad. Um, oh, look, though. They're all so happy in their little home. Their home is so happy and little, and, and slightly contaminated, but that's not the point. They're all living happily together. Together they are. But look at all the bodies at the bottom. My goodness, gravy. Oh, eat him. No, no, eat. Yeah. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, look at the little otter. The fishes. Nothing has made anything else uh, by, like, the AI again. So that is something to be, to be, or to look at because, um, I don't know. Maybe if I raise the, uh, oh, one fish just, like, they just disintegrate. What happened? What if I raise the oxygen again? Ah, there's the oxygen. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
Mr. Ox. Oh, Mr. Mr. Otter. I'm sorry I contaminated you. Uh, okay, I need the oxygen to come back. Come on. Come on in your little water droplet color painting. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, Mr. Otter, you're going to need that. All right. So if I don't do anything, will the contamination spread? There we go. So we have full oxygen. Oh, no, you're not supposed to make another one. Oh, well. Oh, Mr. Otter's going up. But the the soundtrack is really nice, too. It's really relaxing. So it just makes you forget all your problems. So if you are having a stress issue or something, and you actually want to keep your uh, animals alive, please play this game and just listen to the soundtrack. Oh, my goodness. This is just light lifting. Light lifting, heart lifting, and warm and fuzzy. Except when you're trying to kill your animals to restart. But that is beside the point. I'm just talking at this point. I want to see if the contamination spreads at all. Because all the algae down there, that's for the little fishy fishes. Oh, you died, so... Mr. Otter, are you going for that fish? Oh. Oh. You can get him, Mr. Otter. You can get him. Yeah! Get that tail! Because that booty be wiggling. Yeah! Oh, he got you! So then you're going to head out of the pond, right? So does that mean if nothing happens... Does that mean the pond gets more contaminated? Does the otter die? These are all the questions that we must ask ourselves in this game. But it is a really cool game. It's really simple though, so if you don't like simple games, don't play it. But if you don't like simple games, and you like like music soundtrack and stuff, like you should watch or play this. It's a good game. It was on Steam. It was free. I, if I could, I'd get the soundtrack from this game and just play it. You know, when I'm trying to go to bed. Okay, you guys are probably bored of seeing an otter uh, walk about. So, wonder what some crayfish will do. Will those eat up the contamination? So then we're going to have some of these. And then we're going to have some of our greenies. And some of our these, and Mr. Otter's already out. So that's gonna eat that. We're gonna get some more crayfish up in here. We're gonna sprout some more. What are we sprouting more of? Let's clean this ecosystem up. We can do that. So these are gonna eat all the algae. I need some more of these. I need more animals to help. Now I feel like I failed them. Yes, 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 good. And now we can have some more crayfish. Wait, where'd all my crayfish go? They keep, like, dying. Huh, that's weird. So I can create more of you. Yes. And probably... No, not more of you yet? Okay. We can create some more of these guys. And... Oh, our crayfish keep dying from the contamination. Gosh darn it. Oh, I messed up. I messed up. Oh, I messed up. Maybe I shouldn't have done. Oh, look at all the algae. Oh, the otter got small. No, Mr. Otter, come back, come back, please. No, don't leave me. Okay, some more of this. And more greenies, and more crayfish. Okay, guys, things are dying on me left and right, and I think I'm going to end this episode here. This is a fun game, um, but obviously, I screwed up. I screwed up badly. I screwed up, because everything is dying on me. So maybe if I didn't do the, let it, the contamination spread so much at the beginning, I would have had a more healthy ecosystem. So I thank you guys so much for watching. If there's anything you'd like me to do, review, or play, please leave it down in the comments below, and why not like and subscribe. I am Nathan Jian, signing off, and I will see you guys in the next one. The lone fishy in the blimey deep.